Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I last vlogged. I've basically been on a break since like my exams finish or since like December. But now I'm back and I'm so excited to be vlogging again. I've missed you guys so much and I hope that you guys are all doing really well. Within these past few months that I haven't been vlogging, a lot has happened in my life. Like I have so much to update you guys on. Some really, really, really big life changes and life updates which I will get into a bit later but um, for now it is currently like almost 12 I am gonna go to the mall and pick up a few things like I've got to get some things for my friend and I'm gonna go to the gym later today do a lower body workout and then later tonight I've got a friend's 21st birthday I've actually got two of my friends's 21st birthday parties tonight but I think I am only going to be able to make it to one of my friends's birthday I am so happy to be vlogging again it just feels like really like a fresh start and happy 2022 I hope you guys are all gonna have a amazing and prosperous year um, but yeah outfit of the day I'm wearing this cute little dress from beginning boutique I am really really into like long flowy dresses and I feel like that's kind of the style that's in lately but I am looking quite pale because I haven't been out in the Sun much so yeah these past few weeks actually the past month I've been working like full-time at my summer job which has been really really fun I've actually made so many new friends working at um, Mecca so yeah that's where I've been working Mecca Maxima like the makeup cosmetics shop and it's been so fun like all the girls I work with are so lovely I've made so many new friends and I am going to be leaving Mecca once my contract is up well, I'm not leaving Mecca but I'm leaving Mecca at my current store once my contract is up because you'll see why but it's a big update also I don't know if you guys can see in this light but I dyed my hair um, it's actually quite a bit lighter now um, I dyed it about mid-December and I actually love it like currently it's not done so it doesn't look as good I highlighted my hair I didn't do a balayage I highlighted it and you can kind of see it like it looked so nice when I first got it done but obviously it's been a month and it's looking not as fresh as it did. I'm pairing my outfit with these sunnies which are my favourite. These are from Versace. I got these on like Boxing Day I think. I am obsessed with the band of these glasses and they're just so like classy. I love it so much. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the outfit that I'm going to wear to my friends this 21st. I'm going to pair this dress with some heels. And this dress is just from Princess Polly. I did my makeup. It's just this natural glam look, I guess. And yeah, I'm going to leave to my friend um, Brittany's house in about 20-ish minutes. Say hi. 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 Joy looks so cute tonight. Oh, where's your fit from? Tell them. Okay, so this is from Big Little Thing. Yes. My necklace is from my dad. Oh, yes. Dean are at Alma, which is in Britomart. It is so cute. 
and Glade looks really cute as well. Oh, you modeled it. And we're gonna go get a coffee. Not sure if we're gonna get something to eat yet. We might go get some pastries at Amano. But yeah, this place is so cute. And the, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm in like France or something. It does. Like smell. literally. And like the, I don't know, it's just giving me a French vibe. But it's mm. also raining as well. But it's just a vibe. This place is so cute. to the vlog Hi. and we're back at our favorite favorite spot it's botany commons and we got some parmes parmesan truffle. truffled potatoes and the big mac pizza which looks so good this is like me and holly's favorite and then holly got the three little pigs three little pigs so good i'm so excited to eat it Today I've actually just got work. I'll just quickly show you my little work outfit. So this top got delivered yesterday. It's this black top from Kukai. It's like cinches at the back like this. And I think it's really nice because it um, sort of like defines your shape, your body. So I really like these types of tops. And then I'm just wearing some black Kukai pants, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. But yeah, at work, because I work at Mecca, um, you just wear all black so this is the vibes for today and actually from Kukai I also ordered this white top but the thing with it is it's actually just a bit small um, so I'm thinking of exchanging it but both of these tops were originally 140 and I got them for $42 which is so good so I don't know how much percent off that is but that's definitely more than 50% off so yeah I love 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 these sorts of tops and i love how you can like dress it up and dress it down but actually i'm filming right now because i um need to like give you guys a life update which i said that i would give at the start of this video so there are a lot of changes happening in my life also by the way if my face looks a bit oily it's because i've put on some sunscreen so if you haven't put on your sunscreen today you need to go put your sunscreen on because you need to protect your face from the sun I've been meaning to talk to you guys about this and this has been in the works since the start of last year um, it's going to be a really big change but I'm really excited for it and now I am happy to announce that I will be moving to Australia so yeah I'm moving to Australia I am moving in less than two weeks so today is the 27th of January and I'm flying out on the morning of the 8th of February so it is really soon I have really been meaning to tell you guys this but I haven't really been haven't really like had the chance to sit down and properly film this video and like tell you that I am going to be moving um, so I'll give you guys maybe like a little backstory as to why I'm moving and why I want to move so ever since my first year of uni I've always wanted to go overseas and study and do like an exchange so I don't know some of you guys may know but in my second year I was meant to go do a um, study abroad in America but obviously that was the year of when COVID started so then that got cancelled um to be honest it was kind of a blessing in disguise because I'm actually really glad that I didn't end up going to America for an exchange um during that time and so I just always wanted to take myself global and I still want to study abroad obviously like not this year but maybe like next year or the year after um so yeah that is a key factor why but I guess another key factor is I have always, I've just been feeling so trapped and stuck in Auckland and New Zealand and to be honest I'm just kind of sick of it. I really just want a fresh start. Um, I really feel like I need to grow as a person and I feel like I'm not doing that here or at least I'm not growing to the extent um, that I want to be growing and I really want to like 
just move to a new country and just start a new life and see what life has in store for me because New Zealand is so small and I feel like the opportunities here especially in the field that I want to go to which is like law and business or business law is very quite limited here I mean the job market is also so small here compared to in Australia I will be moving to Sydney which is kind of like the corporate capital of Australia so there is definitely a lot more opportunities over there I'm still going to be going to uni I'm just going to be transferring to a uni in Australia which I'm in the process of doing and I won't announce like which uni I'm going to in this video because it's not 100% set in stone there's still some time that I have before I like fully decide on which uni I'm going to go to but just know that I've applied into a couple unis um, and it's not a big not that big of a deal because I can always like transfer again or whatever. I'm just very excited for what life has in store for me because like the thing is if I stayed in New Zealand if I didn't move I already know what my life will look like. I'm literally just going to graduate uni and then just work and that that would just be my life but if I move to a new country I don't know what my life will look like and I'm kind of here for the spontaneous like decision and if I don't like Australia if I don't end up liking it or if I don't end up liking Sydney I can always move to Melbourne I can always move to Gold Coast or I can always move back home it's not that far like if you guys are not like a New Zealand or an Australian viewer um, Australia and New Zealand are only like three hours away from each other they're kind of like partners sort of so I don't need to apply for a visa or anything when I move to Australia I just basically become a citizen I think I'm like a special category visa citizen or something like that I've just felt so trapped ever since my first year of uni and to be completely honest with you guys like I haven't been super happy and that's also why I have found it quite difficult to make videos and film videos and put on like this happy face in front of you guys when I'm not actually super happy like it's hard to fake something and I don't I don't like faking shit like I just like being me I just know that over there I can really grow into the person that I want to be and the person that I am meant to be and I really hope that you guys are excited for me because there's gonna be so much in store I mean I literally don't even know what life has to hold for me but I'm very excited to take you guys along with me um so yeah that's the backstory I'm so sorry that was like a whole eight minute talk about my backstory but um uh the, also this past year you would have noticed that I haven't been like filming as much or as active on my social medias because I've been sorting out so much stuff for my move to Australia like I've had to sort out my accommodation I applied for my accommodation in early June of last year so by like July I was already accepted in um, I don't know if I should say where I'm living okay maybe I should should I? Um, so I am going to be living in one of the residential colleges in the University of Sydney. Um, I'm going to be living, actually I'm not going to say where, I'm not going to say which college, but I am going to be living in one of the residential colleges. If you don't know what that is, it's like basically like a horse of residence, but like bougie. Because um, I got a scholarship into one of them. It's very exciting. It's very soon. I haven't packed my suitcase, but I need to. I'm going to do that sometime this week. It's quite hard because also I've been working so much like during Christmas and New Year's. I was working like full time and right now I am working like five around five to six days a week as well just so that I can really save up before I move over. And it's quite good because how I work at Mecca, like Mecca is founded in Australia so right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to transfer from Mecca New Zealand to Mecca Australia so I'm hoping to be transferred to a like a Mecca store around like the Sydney Central so that it wouldn't be like take it wouldn't take too long for me to get to work but yeah so that's in the process right now I really hope that I will be able to transfer that is what I'm planning to do and obviously I'm going to be living in like a horse type situation it's a all girls um, college so I think there's maybe like 300 girls that live there I don't want to live in a co-ed 
like living space um i just want it to be all girls and i want it to be something quite small just because when i move over i'm actually a little bit older than everyone because i'm like transferring in like the middle of my degree i mean like i'll be 21 and everyone will be like 18 or like all the freshers will be 18 but then i'm also considered a fresher because i'm also in my first year of living in like the college i can go on and on about this but i think i will make a whole new video giving you guys a further update there is so much i need to like figure out so much i need to do before i fly out because with covid and everything you have to really be on top of it so yeah i just feel like now a weight has lifted off my shoulder because i've been waiting so long to tell you guys um oh also did i say i'm moving alone like my family's not coming it's just me moving by myself so a little bit scary but i am more excited than nervous so yeah hello guys so you may notice a change in quality because i'm filming on my phone um my like little sim importer thing is not working at all so that's why i'm jumping on my phone and like quickly telling you guys this i have another really important life update to tell you guys and it's that i am legally changing my birth name and i'm changing it to taya samasya the name taya is spelled t-e-y-a and um yeah, so that's actually in the process right now. All of my documents are with the Wellington Department of Internal Affairs and that should be finalized like sometimes next week or the week after. I don't know, I just really like the name Taya and the whole reason why I want to change my name is because of the fact that I don't really like, I never really liked my first name. My parents basically came up with the name Wincy by just directly translating my Cantonese name to English and somehow it just translated perfectly to Wincy. And I just feel like there is no better time to change my name than like when I'm moving to a new country because if I did stay in New Zealand, I would have never changed my name because there would have been like no point. I made a middle name for myself because I never had a middle name and my last name Xia in Chinese um, directly translates to summer in English and I think the name summer is a really pretty name and I do really like the name so that's my middle name and um, all of my friends well all my close friends already know that I'm changing my name and they're all super super supportive of it as for my parents they don't really mind that much because it's just my birth name it's not like I'm changing my last name and so yeah and plus my parents call me by my little nickname that i've always had since i was young so it's not like too big of a deal um but yeah i thought i'd tell you guys that i've literally tried to film this segment like many times like i've probably filmed this like four times now we have less than 24 hours now here in auckland new zealand so i fly out tomorrow morning i have to be at the airport at 6 45 a.m which is really early but today i went and picked up my covid like covid result my certificate to show that i'm fit to fly and yes i'm negative in covid which is good so i can fly out tomorrow and i did my australian travel declaration online form as well and as you can see behind me i am still packing i am feeling very very nervous because i don't know how it's gonna go especially with like covid and everything but I'm also super excited and this whole week I've just been spending every day with all my friends. If I'm not at work, I'm with my friends and just like preparing for this. So it's been a lot. It's been overwhelming, but um, I will definitely vlog tomorrow when I'm at the airport and I'll vlog me like moving in and everything. So um, I'll end the vlog off here because it's been quite long now. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. I love and appreciate you guys so much and there will definitely be more vlogs coming. So stay tuned and take care of yourselves. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.